Thanks, Chris. It was a cold case that shook the state of California for 40 years. He was called the Golden State Killer, a man who raped and killed many victims from the 1970s into the 80s. News West 9's Jelena Okazaki spoke to the daughter of one of his victims. She joins us in the studio with her story. Jelena. That's right, Victor. For decades, investigators were searching for who was responsible for the 12 murders, at least 45 rapes, and the 120 homes that were burglarized that happened in California from the 70s to the 80s. And for one victim's daughter, she thought she wouldn't get an answer until now. Disgusting. It absolutely makes my blood curdle. For 40 years, Debbie Domingo has asked many questions after losing her mother, Sherry Domingo, and her mother's boyfriend, Greg Sanchez. And I spent 20 years just kind of accepting this, this unknown, and I've only really allowed myself to have the hope for, you know, 15, 16, 17 years. Sherry and Greg were both brutally murdered in their home in 1981 in Santa Barbara County, California. My life actually took some really, really ugly turns. I, I suffered from depression. I lost several years to, to drug abuse and, and I was very, very hopeless for a long time. With dead ends and no major leads, the case turned cold. But 20 years later, the case reopened. And tonight, the question of who this man is, is finally answered. He's been called the East Side Rapist. He's been called the Visalia Ransacker, the original Night Stalker, and the Golden State Killer. Today, it's our pleasure to call him defendant. 72-year-old Joseph James D'Angelo is who authorities say is the suspected killer in the Golden State Killer murders and rapes, an investigation that would have lingered on for many years if it weren't for the DNA evidence. I got a phone call close to midnight from somebody official in the investigation and they said, they said, we've got him. And I, I just couldn't even believe it. And I, and my first question was, is he alive? And they said, yes, we have DNA match. He is alive and he's in custody. Investigators found D'Angelo through stored DNA and arrested him at his home this week. He was charged with eight counts of murder and could face more charges. There is such an overwhelming sense of relief knowing that he's behind bars and, and my sisters are safe. But for Debbie, it's more than a sense of relief. It's closure. Now that this case will bring justice for Sherry, for Greg, and the more than 50 victims, because no matter how old he is, no matter how many years it's been, or how many murders and rapes he stopped committing, a crime is a crime, and it could be the last time Joseph James D'Angelo will ever see the light of day. He deserves everything he has coming. Uh, he tortured way too many people. He stole way too many innocent lives out of this world, and um, it's, it's time for him to pay. Now, one author wrote a book called I'll Be Gone in the Dark, and it's about the case and the author's effort to find who the killer was. Now, her name is uh, Michelle McNara, and Debbie was actually good friends with the author, but she later passed away. Now, she does mention Debbie and her mother in the book. Uh, once again, it's called I'll Be Gone in the Dark, and it's available on Amazon. Victor, back to you. Thanks, Jelena. Well, the so-called Golden State Killer will make his first court appearance today. The Sacramento Sheriff's Department did arrest 72-year-old Joseph James D'Angelo outside his home on Tuesday. D'Angelo is being held without bail in the Sacramento County, Maine, jail.